this is what a typical journey to maintain a Kenex installation without remote access looks like. I believe you will all agree with me that remote access is a powerful tool that can save both time and money. To enable remote access in your Kenex installation, your Kenex devices must of course be connected to the Internet. However, with increasing connectivity of building systems to the Internet, cyber attacks have become a major threat. But don't listen to me. Listen what the KNX Association has to say about this. Hello, my name is Steven de Bruyne. I am System Architect at KNX Association. And I will tell you how you can protect your KNX installations from being hacked. Smart homes and buildings can be hacked. Actually, smart homes and buildings are hacked. Also, your building can be hacked. Hackers, they steal data. Hackers take control of your applications. Hackers modify your applications. And hackers turn your installations and devices useless. This leads to an enormous loss of money and investment. A hacker only needs to be able to do a few things. He can be able to sniff telegrams, replay telegrams, inject telegrams, and manipulate telegrams. Did you listen? Smart home and buildings are hacked, and also your building can be hacked. We need to take actions right now. Visit my.knx.org and sign in with your KNX account. From the available courses, click on how to prevent access to KNX installations. Click on Enroll Me. Click on KNX Secure. And watch all videos. KNX Training. How to prevent unauthorized access to KNX installations. Then visit knx.org. Click on Benefits and KNX Secure. Download the KNX Security Checklist. Here is an overview on everything that needs to be considered to achieve a secure KNX installation. I will create a dedicated video about this list, so be sure to subscribe to my channel to get notified when it's ready. Let's now move on to the actions that need to be taken immediately. This is my project in ETS 6 and I want to show you how to protect your KNX devices from unauthorized reconfiguration. Click on Project Details button. Click on Details. Click on Set BCU Key. Note that the 8-digit BCU key contains only hexademical digits. These are the numbers 0 to 9 and letters A to F. Before pressing the OK button, please note, keep the BCU key safe. Once forgotten, the BCU key in the devices cannot be changed or reset externally. If the password is lost, the KNX device must be returned to the manufacturer. Not all devices can be protected against reconfiguration. Before proceeding, contact first the relevant manufacturer. When you are ready, click OK. To apply the changes, download the application to KNX devices. Let's assume that I have gained access to KNX installation, for instance through port 3671. Using ETS 6, I could create a new project. Next, I will open Diagnostics and I run Line Scan. Since I don't know the topology, I will start with the most common line, 1.1. ETS 6 will generate a list of all available KNX devices. I will choose this device from Vincher and add it to my project using the online catalog.
Additionally, I will change its individual address to match the real one according to line scan. If I want to learn more details about this device, I can click on Device Info. ETS6 will then read the device information, allowing me to see, among other details, which objects linked with which group addresses. My goal is to lock this device with my own BCU key. After setting my BCU key, I will download the application to the device to apply the changes. Oh, what's this? It seems the device is already locked. I will attempt to continue without password. Download failed. I will then try download all. It requires to press the programming button, but this is not a problem for me. I will click on individual address check and by pressing the on button I will set the device in programming mode. The download failed again. Imagine what could happen if I were successful. You would have a device in your installation with no configuration and locked against the configuration. In that case, the only thing you could do is send it back to the manufacturer to unlock it. What a waste of time and money! Since the BCU key is stored in the ETS6 project, there is no inconvenience in working on your project as usual. If you want to add an extra layer of protection to your projects, use the Project Password feature. Click on Project Details, click on Details, and set password. To clear the project password, simply click Clear Password. You can also clear the BCU key by clicking the relevant button. Remember to apply the changes by downloading the application to your devices. If you are starting a new KNX installation or adding new KNX devices to an existing one, I recommend investing in KNX Secure devices from the beginning. KNX Secure guarantees maximum protection by offering a double protection. KNX IP Secure extends the IP protocol in such a way that all transfer telegrams and data are completely encrypted. And KNX Data Secure effectively protects user data against unauthorized access and manipulation by means of encryption and authentication. To add a secure device in ETS6, follow the usual procedure with one additional step. The ETS6 now requires a device certificate. Simply scan the QR code found on a sticker with the device and ETS6 will handle the rest for you. Don't worry, I will make a video about KNX Secure, so let's continue. Visit knx.org. Click on Benefits and KNX Secure. Run the KNX Security Check to determine if your KNX installation is vulnerable to cyber attacks. Take a look at the results. My KNX installation is insecure. Do you want to know why? Check your router's port forwarding rules. Is port 3671 open? If yes, remove this rule immediately. Don't leave it for later, do it now. As I mentioned before, don't just listen to me. Listen to the KNX Association. The main message of KNX Secure on this fair is twofold. First of all, protect your installation from being accessed from outside. If your installation is accessible over the internet via an open port 3671, close it immediately. Do it today, don't wait for tomorrow. Your installation can and will be hacked. If you don't do it, you run a big risk. Now that port 3671 has been closed, I will run the KNX security check one more time. My installation is now secure but I still need remote access to it. The best solution for remote access in KNX is VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network. You can set up a VPN connection using a router that supports VPN. If you use routers and network devices from Unify, please check out my tutorial on how to set up a VPN connection. However, let's be realistic. How often does it happen for a KNX integrator to be also the network IT? 
The good thing though is that as a KNX integrators, we have more than 500 manufacturers, so there are of course KNX devices for secure remote access. I have here two of those devices. One from KNX and one from ISC. I will create two dedicated videos for these devices, so make sure to subscribe to Poseidon Tech to be notified when the videos are ready. In the description below this video, you will find all the links from the KNX Association that I used in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Happy KNXing, and I will see you in the next episode.